Okay, so something new came in by Diodora. Let's see what we got. I think I got sucked into a big, big hype. This is the Diodora 1000 mix, and we're gonna have a look today if these are worth the hype. So the Diodora 9000 mix released in December of last year, 2018, and it is an homage to some past collaborations by Diodora, and it is, of course, as the name gives it away, a mix of several collaborations on both shoes. Both shoes are different. The left one looks like this, and the right one looks like this. We have collaborations like Soulbox Pharaoh, then we have the Pata Colonel Blue, we have 24 Kilates with the Soul, and 24 Kilates with the Sombra some more pata on this one, some henna on this one, packers included only on the laces I think, speckled midsole, no idea who that is, if you know let me know, but there are a lot of colors and collaborations on both the shoes and there's just not enough room on a pair to include everyone, but I think they excluded some of the best collaborations so far. Really digging these, the colors are great. Of course, this is not a new concept. ASICS has done this with Ronnie Feig, of course, on the homage. And, uh, but this is a, well, this is a present from Diodora and Diodora talk from Diodora fans to Diodora fans. Unfortunately, like every time, resale is really on anything that's getting hyped up. So is resale on these. I think these are around 280, 320, 350 or so, depending on your size. And the question is, are they worth it? And my answer is no. Materials are great. We have a very nice suede here on both pairs. Very nice mesh here on the top. Uh, also great suede on the heel cup. We have different materials on the, on the arrow. This one is a very nice new buck or very short suede, not sure about that. We have the kangaroo leather here on the lacing section by the Pharaoh. On this one we have, well, I think primarily only suede as I can see, um, but both of them feature very, very great materials. The shape I think is more or less a made in Italy GR. I think this is not the collaboration shape or last that they have used. Why do I think they're not really worth it? Because the thing is they have some slight craftsmanship issues. The Adora sometimes has these things as well, but I think they put some things on here and that just slipped through quality control. Because I think uh, the mesh on the toe box could be a little bit more straight. This is a little bit diagonal which I'm not super thrilled about. And as usual with the Adora, you get your very, very nice toe box creasing, that very famous camel toe. Uh, Papa. So if you really want to have one of these, you have to live with that. I'm not sure, I don't think you can iron it out. I tried it and it's coming back uh, It's because it's usually in the underlay material. And if you only work on the upper layer, it's it's not gonna make it any better. So that's why I don't think you should spend too much on these if you can find them for a good price. That's great, but don't ruin yourself. Don't rob your bank account for these. And uh, I have them, I paid resale, but not too much, I think. So 50 to 70 euros on top of that. It's cool in my book, but anything beyond that is just not worth it. Still, I'm pretty happy that I was able to get these and finally going to be able to wear them. I haven't worn them since and that's almost a year ago. So can't wait to throw these on feet. So stay tuned for the on feet section coming up right now and see you soon.
So that's it for today with the Diodora N9000 mix. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I'm gonna see you next time again. So thanks for watching and until next time, bye bye.